Hello, I'm Jelly Beans, and today we're going to be talking about a topic that's been on my mind as a result of the recent Diablo 4 close beta. This is, of course, pre ordering video games or purchasing the digital deluxe edition for early access because of the fear of missing out or FOMO that comes along with it. It's no secret that the video game industry is a huge business with billions of dollars, games becoming more and more expensive to develop, and as we can see, both Sony and Microsoft are now looking to pass those additional costs onto the consumer with their increase from $60 to $70 for new titles. We've also seen the rise in seasonal content and microtransactions, battle passes, and other ways to incentivize players to spend money on the game beyond the initial purchase price. And this is generally what enables games to continue development and continue delivering services long past launch. This has pretty much become the norm, but publishers are now starting to push a new offering by granting players early access to their games through pre-orders and purchasing digital deluxe editions. Now on the surface, this may seem like a win-win situation. You get to play the game before it's officially released, the developer gets your money up front, which helps them fund the game development, but with most things in life, there's a catch. You see, they're playing on FOMO, or fear of missing out, and it's a powerful force, especially in the gaming community. We all want to be the first to play the latest and greatest games, to be ahead of the curve and to show off our skills to our friends and followers. When you see all your friends are playing a title days before you can, it entices you. You want to purchase the upgrade so you can join them. Why should you have to wait while they have all the fun? It's ingenious, as up until now, most of the content provided to consumers in these special editions has mainly been cosmetics that they would use to entice some consumers to upgrade so that they would get a cool looking skin or something for their character to set them apart from everybody else. Now, most gamers are comfortable with this because it doesn't affect gameplay or provide an unfair advantage. And before this, we used to see Founders Editions, which provided real world physical goods, such as models or figurines, to show your appreciation of a franchise or IP. But as the gaming industry continues to evolve, we're seeing more and more ways that developers and publishers are leveraging FOMO to encourage pre-orders as it's the perfect sales lever to entice customers to upgrade their purchase. By providing early access four days early, such as with Hogwarts Legacy, just because you pay $20 more, the publishers here are essentially providing a premium service that never existed in the first place, and it's just another way developers are taking advantage of players who want to be there first. If we don't vote with our wallets now, I can guarantee that this practice is going to be occurring more and more in future, and the price to play early will increase as well. And while some of these perks may seem enticing, it's important to take a step back and consider whether the cost is really worth it. Are you truly getting your money's worth by pre-ordering a game that might be buggy or unfinished before the day one patch? Is the early access really worth the extra cash? Or is it just for content creators to get the story first so that they can play the game before everyone else so that they can be ahead to make all the content that they're going to need? If you're not pre-ordering, are you still getting the full experience? Is it fair that you have to pre-order the most expensive version of Diablo 4 just to be able to indulge in closed betas like the one we saw last weekend? What's even more is we're giving the developers a pass on quality control. By pre-ordering games and those in early access, we're essentially telling the developers it's okay to release an unfinished product and that we're willing to pay for the privilege to participate in that game when betas beforehand used to be completely free for the consumers. Now, don't get me wrong, there are plenty of games that have been released in early access that have gone on to be great successes, but the fact remains that pre-ordering a game in early access is always a gamble as well. And just as many success stories as there are, there's also failures. You're essentially betting that the game will be good and that the developer will use your money to make it even better and you hope they don't just ride off into the sunset instead. The truth is pre-ordering games and buying into early access is always a gamble. You never know for sure what you're getting until you have it on your hands. And while it's understandable that you want to be ahead of the curve and support your favorite developers and the games that they want to make, it's important to do so responsibly and with a critical eye. Wait for reviews. Watch gameplay footage, make informed decisions about the games that you love and want to play, or they're gonna keep nickel and diming you and this is gonna keep happening. We really need to stop buying into the bullshit. But Diablo 4 
it was only a closed beta weekend. If you waited one more week, you'd be able to play the game without buying the digital deluxe edition. If enough consumers do exactly that, then they're not going to be incentivized to release versions such as the one that they did. If the gamers are not buying those packs and those upgrades because they want early access, then the publishers aren't going to keep making stuff like that because there's no money there. Now, as just one person, you are right. You're not going to make a difference. The developers aren't going to care whether or not you purchase the game. But if enough people took this advice and enough people voted with their wallet, it would make a difference. And it's as a whole that the gaming community needs to come together on things like these and send a message. Ultimately, just make sure that you watch reviews and you're informed about the games that you love. Make sure that they're a good game and that you don't buy into these special editions. And the only thing that's going to send a message to these publishers at the end of the day is through your wallet. And that's how we can shape it for a better future.